It is, ladies, the dream hollow. Look at these flowers. Yes. And this is a trumpet vine. It's as strong as your soul and twice as virtuous. Here, I'll make your crown. Ah, the dream crown. You know, it's as old as all creation. Some say God put one upon his head, dream the universe. And here we stand. Here, Kelly, put it on, stand upon the rock. I don't know, Chilani. I don't even wear birthday hats because they feel so ridiculous. They're so silly, you know? Kelly, daughter, were you not the one that wanted to have your dreams fulfilled? You came to me with tales of war, of your love life. Come on, Kelly, it'll be fun. I'll join you. Yes. Come, I'll make one for you, little one. Come here. Get on the rock. Put it on your head and turn to face the west, where the sun finds its slumber. I just wish Dad and Uncle Brew were here. I'm sure they have some dreams that need to be fulfilled. 
could you imagine your dad in one of these? <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> calm down, calm down. Face the sun. Look up, close your eyes and let the dream take over. Come dream, come slumber. Aliakila, Bulia, Bulia, Aliakila, Bulia, Aliak. Don't peek, Jesse. Bulia. Come dream, come slumber. Bulia, Bulia, dream. Detection. New weapon locking on target. What the hell is that? 
Warning! Target box thunder! Where the hell did that come from? Oh god. Propulsion oh death! God. Evasion tactics terminated! Destruction inevitable! Oh my god! What is it, honey? Did you have a bad dream? No, I was just thirsty. I wanted some water. That was one heck of a holler for just a glass of water. Sure you don't want to talk about it? I told you, Dad. It's nothing. You can go to bed, okay? Where did this come from? Just something Trelawney gave me. I should have known. I'm gonna have to have a little talk with Trelawney first thing tomorrow. Now go back to bed and forget all this baloney, okay? I'll try. I just hope Kelly's sharing a dream tonight and not a nightmare. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Yo. Every man's soul knows perfect love. His light is a quest to find. My quest has ended here. With you. And mine with you. What are you doing here? Leave us at once. I will not stand by. You will stand by and watch your entire kingdom crumble unless you find a way to show me the respect I deserve. You're a barbarian. You cannot be trusted. Perhaps not, but he also possesses an arsenal of artillery cannons hidden somewhere in the desert. Cannons that he has proven all too dramatically can destroy us in a matter of hours. Today's bombardment was only a warning. Son, 
Your future as heir to my throne is at stake. What could be more important that it steals your attention? The answer. And where is this answer? In your white castle, father. On a beach. Here we go. Have a good day. You look like the dream girl and gave you much to think about, sister. Perhaps you shared a dream with a newfound soulmate? Just for a minute. Just when it started getting interesting. Whoosh. You went away. You say the dream never finished? This is not good. Be careful. Truth takes some dangerous curves when it can't see its own tail. Oh, baby. There is nothing wrong with this dream's tail. <laughs> Watch out, Trelawney. Storm's coming. Your hocus pocus dream stuff is history, Trelawney. Got it? Jessica was up all night with nightmares. Whoa, chill, my man. You know the dream crown is powerful medicine. If it brings nightmares, you should listen to their story. It scared her so much, she won't even talk about it. Every man's soul knows perfect love. His life is a quest to find it. My quest has ended here with you. And mine with you. <laughs> What's going on? My name is Prince Aramor, and in my country, a shared dream is as common as a sunrise. Kismet. Of all the corny. Hey, yo! Sheep dude! I've heard some lines in my time, but that one takes the moussaka. Okay, that's it! Right on the play! Hello. You think? It's not, huh? No. Well, when perfect strangers invade my beach with Ginzu knives and hot tempers, I get a little testy. He is perfect, but he's not a stranger. I can't explain it, okay? I know how it would sound to you two, but you gotta let it go. Trust me, please. They've shared a dream, me boys. It's as I told you, the dream crown is powerful medicine.
Is there anything wrong? No, nothing. It's silly. All my life I've been afraid when good things have happened. The higher you fly, the further you fall. What do you feel in my hands? Dead to strength. Hands that won't let me fall. It is customary in your country to invite one up for coffee. No disrespect to this beautiful land, but Northern Tanasia coffee has the sweet taste of moonlight. Come with me, my darling. Tomorrow, taste the moonlight. Sure. I'll be back. Your heart set on this? My heart. <laughs> yeah. Good choice of words. That's a communicator. Listen to me. If anything happens to you, you call us. We'll be there. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna miss you, Lights. Thanks, Prue. Think with your head, not only your heart. <laughs> you guys are such romantics, aren't you? Come here, give me a hug. Yes, it's two in the morning. What are you doing? I figured it out. I've already slept 32,177 hours. So you see, Dad, I've slept more than enough for one lifetime. You really don't want to have that dream again, do you? I'm just not tired anymore. Well, you may not be tired, but I am. Come on, champ. Alley-oop. Good night, and I love you. And go to sleep.
holiday is this? You. You are the holiday. They celebrate your arrival. <laughs> Did they do? This is all the girls you bring home to meet the folks? <laughs> Actually, you are the first. So I guess this is what they mean by the royal treatment. jumping on ropes and flagpoles. And Brew, he found a flying carpet with a tiger on it, and you jumped off a tower with it and flew away. Dreams aren't for real, honey, and it doesn't sound like anything to be afraid of. It gets scarier. You got the wound on thunder, but Uncle Brew made a big mistake. Well, now we know it's not real because I don't make mistakes. Actually, I did make a mistake once. It was April of uh, 73. I asked Linda Tinto to be my valentine. She was a second-degree black belt. I was ambitious. There was this big gun firing at you, and the computer wanted you to shoot at a building. But you only had one bullet left, so you changed what the computer wanted. And it made you blow up. Well, the dream's all gone now. It's out in the open. So let's go back to bed. And if you close your eyes, Uncle Brew and I will stay here till you fall asleep and give you one of our super deluxe back scratches. And everything's gonna be okay. Oops, sorry. You really don't have to do that. Thanks. I'm really okay. You don't have to fan me. Thanks. Come in. Oh. Prince Aramore. Please, accept this humble gift as a small token of appreciation of your visit. <gasps> I love gifts. But you must. It's traditional. All the women in this country wear this kind of dress. On their wedding day. <laughs> Boy, you princes waste no time, do you? That's because there is no time to waste. 
The destiny of my kingdom is hanging in the balance. Kelly. You and I, we... We shared a dream. And that dream gave me the answer to save my homeland. Get out of my way! What is going on here? Who is he? This is most difficult. The pain in my heart strikes me deep like a dagger. But allow me to explain. In order to prove my allegiance to the warlord Magador, I must sacrifice my most valuable treasure. And what greater sacrifice can there be than to give up my dream? My treasure. My kismet. Hold on. I am nobody's treasure. I beg to differ. You will marry Magalor. Tomorrow. This too is kismet. The hell it is! Trelawney up. Tell her she's got to stay with Jess. Wait, if Kelly's in trouble, that means the woman in my dream was her. And if you go, you'll blow up in thunder. I know it. You can't go. I won't let you. It's okay, Jess. Don't worry. We have to help Kelly. What you had was a dream, and dreams change all the time. Trelawney will meet us at the beach in the morning. Hey, Boise, here. I made you some nourishment for your trip. It will give you strength and wisdom. Hey, Trelawney, what's that? Pass me hot sauce. It'll save you many a trouble. Oh, yeah, well, I heard the food was pretty bland there. Wait, Dad. I'm coming with you. Jess, you know you can't come with us. But I can help you. But you don't know about the water wheel or the nets. Or you probably forgot all about the flying carpet with the tiger's face on it. Honey, look. Tell us what else you saw in your dream. Brew will remember it, and we'll watch out for it. Okay, besides the flying carpet, you were trapped in a small room with sparks all around. Then you used Trelawney's hot sauce on your food, and there was a water wheel, and you ran across the rooftops into a camel. do this. I've got a life back home. You can't just take that away from me. What about our dream? This is the dream. It just ended suddenly. It ended with a barrage of artillery fire from Magador's army. It was then I realized that to give you up to him was to save my country. There's got to be another way. This is the only way. Dream 
names don't change. Prepare her for the ceremony. Don't touch me! Please! Don't! I'm killing me! As I said, prepare her for the ceremony. buddies would be more appropriate. Oh, man. What is it? I don't believe it. The inventory. Oh, man. Uh, one frozen burrito and a can of cream of mushroom soup. Sounds great. Add an ice cold squirt and I'll be in hog heaven. Hey. Wow, Trelawney's care package. What's she packing there? Your leg or a breast man? That all depends on what it's attached to. A lot of hot sauce. Hit me with one of those chicken breasts. You ever try this stuff before? Hold that stuff. Try it one time. It took me two weeks to get my tongue back. Let me go pass on it. <sighs> hey, Spence, it's about this Kelly Prince thing. Do you believe in love at first sight? Oh, yeah. Happened to me one time. Linda Claridge, body of a goddess. Mm. Met her at the Red Onion in the valley. She was standing next to the taco bar. She had guacamole all over her face. <laughs> it was love at first bite. Tell you what, best summer I ever had. Yeah. Ever happened to you? No, yeah, sort of. Been for hours this year. Wanda trichondinosis. Is that a girl or a foot disease? Now, don't be cruel. Wanda trichondinosis, very first girl I ever had a date with. An older woman. She was eight, I was six. We went to the Moongate, best Chinese in town. She had a Shirley Temple, I a Roy Rogers. I was young, anything was possible. And the waiter put all the food in the middle of the table. My little arms were too short to reach it. The waiter had to come back every time I wanted another egg roll. Most humiliating moment of my life. Sad story, bro. Still haven't gotten over it. Warning! Detecting aggressive tactical weaponry on sonar. Still a guy who's trapped to our spider missile with a command destruct signal locked on our thrusters, brother. Impact in 11 seconds. Stop all engines. Rig systems for silent running. Lock on traces for straddle firing. Straddle firing lock engaged. Six seconds. Five, four, three, two. Switch to deep sonar and scan for additional trapdoor missiles. Negative on image sighting. Agog penetration grid shows no data on additional launch mine coordinates. Oh, great. We're in the middle of a minefield. We don't even know where they are. No way Northern Pan and Asia could deploy trapdoor technology. The Soviets could. Five years ago. Exactly. During the Glinka conflict to protect Tan and Asian waters. 
The missiles are buried 20 feet beneath the ocean floor. They target engine vibration, and unless they receive an abort code, they open their trap doors and they launch, brother. Can we break the codes? Oh, maybe in a day or two, but by then Kelly could be doing the dance of the seven veils. Well, we just can't sit here and stop it running forever. Well, the only other way I can think of is for us to clear a safety corridor for ourselves. If you don't mean us, you mean me. Hey, you got the easy job. All you gotta do is open the doors. I'm the one who's gotta shoot them down. <laughs> hey, there's no blast until it's out of the water. They launch on compressed nitrogen. Ah, Spence. No dive gear. Vibrations. It's not my fault. I didn't put the missiles down there. Thunder, switch computer console to port controls. Okay, Spence, sweep in full half moon patterns. Launch sensors are about 10 feet from the trap doors themselves. leftover french fries with us. <laughs> i tell you what, I'll mold up some soy meal and season it. You'll never know the difference. I will now. Good work. Good shooting. Okay, I'll admit it. Admit what? He had the tougher job. Let's go get Kelly. ROC for hyperspeed. On my mark, 
Hyperspeed Routine of Command activated. Four, three, two, one. That's what Northern Tan in Asia looks like. What do you think, bro? By the water wheel's the best bet. Water wheel? Wasn't there something about a water wheel in Just a Dream? Coincidence. I'm gonna get the equipment together before we go ashore. Get the ropes and the grappling gear. Got it. Kismet to me. More like a machine gun wedding. Let's boogie. You gotta run. Man.
Oh, well, don't sweat it, guys. We're on the bride side. Be polite! Hey! Hey, yo, sport! How about a phone call? Surprise! We do have electricity. <laughs> Exactly the word I would use. How about 20,000 bolts? <sighs> oh man. Oh, I made your headache. <sighs> you got any aspirin? Time on. Spence Brew. Dream God, where are you? I'm now going to read silently from the ceremonial book of Northern Tenenatia. Okay, the bit's getting a little bit old. Well, the good news is these weddings, they can take hours. Everybody's got to sit around, listen to the officiant while he reads from the ceremonial book. Yada, yada, yada. Kind of like a superstition or something, huh? Well, they figure the longer the ceremony lasts, the longer the wedding will last, huh? Mmm, ah. very nice. Hey, get away from there! Away, away! Hey! Yo, sports fan! Sports fan! You sure you want to do that? I don't like noise when I eat. He doesn't like noise when he eats. Okay, hey, hey, it's none of our business. I imagine they've all been inoculated for trichondinosis anyways, wouldn't you think? Hmm. Makes sense in these neck of the woods. Yeah. Enjoy. Uh, what is this? Uh, Trichondinosis. What you said? Trichondinosis? Uh, You've never heard. You know what? I'll bet you they have a different name for it here. Yeah, it's pretty rare back home. Yeah, Trichondinosis is small uh, parasite. No, it's an uh, animal it's actually. An animal? It grows in uh, hot, dry, sandy places. Uh huh. Yeah, lots, uh, especially around camels. Loves camels. It lays its eggs in certain foods, lamb, rice, uh, stuff like that. I don't think they need to worry, do they? No, I don't think it pertains to this area. Well, he's the expert. You know, his brother came down with a bout of it in Iran. It was a horrible story. What happened? Oh, I don't want to talk about it. Tell me! Tell me! He said he doesn't want to talk about it. Tell me! Oh, oh, oh all right, okay. The animal lays its eggs in the food. You eat the food, the food goes into your stomach, the eggs hatch in your stomach, and, uh... Ever seen the movie Alien? Oh, 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 now it's an awful shame to waste good food like that, especially when there's a simple test to see if there's anything in there. What test? Well, that's not my job description now, is it? I'm a prisoner of war, not a health inspector. Tell me now, or you'll be missing in action. Okay. okay. Send back from the door. Oh, 
Okay, let's have a look see. Uh, you're in my light? Voila! <laughs> Trelawney's hot sauce. A lovely year. Voila. Mm. Shall we? Okay, everything looks kosher. Have a nice lunch. Warrior Mogador, my son Prince Adamor has surrendered his greatest gift, the gift of the destiny of love. Today I shall officiate at Mogador's marriage to my son's love. has ever defeated Mogador. 
He described your conflict as a battle, and as tradition dictates, if he surrenders in battle, he concedes power. The wedding is off. Meet our new warlord. Wait a minute. And that can marry my dream. Now wait a minute. Now wait a minute. Spence, I have renewed respect for you. I never thought you'd like Fat Guan. I'm hungry. And it's good. What is it? Baked bat lips. <laughs> Not bad. Too much fennel. Don't see how we're going to get Kelly past these guards. We'll work on it. A toast to our newfound friends. Father, there is no reward I can give you for the gift you have given me for defeating Mogador and bringing me back, my dream wife. There's one. Let Kelly go. Impossible. Fate cannot be changed. She will remain here for the rest of her life. However, there is one thing I want to give you. My daughter, Fatima, shall become your wife. Careful, Spence. I've seen this in movies. Daughters of kings invariably look like Dick Butkus. make this work. Spence, wake up and smell the tabbouleh. This is not an option. And for you, the thin one, hey, I have decided to make you our grand Nafoni. You will be in charge of all the ladies in waiting. You will bathe them, sleep with them, rule over them. They will obey your every wish and command. You know, maybe we're being a little bit rash here. I mean, we have to think about our future. The food's great. I'll bet they have a fantastic retirement plan.
magic principles to open up your well, fantasy and go well. If this pleases you, we shall begin your transformation immediately. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what, what transformation? We must make sure you are absent of temptation that our women remain pure. How are you going to do that? <laughs> okay. Uh, hey. Kingmeister, great fiesta, but now I think it's time to... SPLIT! You dare to turn down the gifts of our king? You will die. Oh no, not you again. <laughs> Come on, legs, party's over. We're out of here. Stop them! <laughs>
go. Down. Strong as your soul and twice as virtuous. Use this! For what, a corsage? Trust me, it'll work. It's strong stuff that'll work. Let's go. Go for it. Grab this. Wait a minute, I didn't know this was for me. And don't look down. Have a fun trip, Legs. <laughs> It's okay. We're gonna have to find another way out here. Yeah. Space. <laughs> Am I a genius or what? Look, look, a tiger. Don't you remember Jessica's dream? Everything she told us has come true so far. She said we were gonna escape on a flying carpet. Bro, you're about 50 bullets short of an assault rifle. You're trying to tell me we're gonna fly out of here on a magic carpet? What, do I look crazy? No, no, but there's a substantial upgrade coming off the street there. We use it like a hang glider. You ever tried this out before? Spence, who's got time? And this is definitely one of those things that you don't try at home. But we don't have a lot of options now, do we? What's the worst thing that could happen? We plummet 200 feet to our death. Oh, well, hell, if you put it that way. Let's do it. I listen to you. Well, the idea seems structurally sound. Come on, guys. Please, Kelly, don't run. You're free now. Come with me. We can finally taste the moonlight. Taste this, you royal wimp. Oh! Oh! Hunter's activated. She's waiting. Let's go. Okay, no! Let's go. Shield activated. Cloning.
Lieutenant Kelly. I got it. I got it. Now, if you've been paying attention, you could have entered the rodeo at Cheyenne. I've still got lots of chances to make the national finals. Not as many as you think. Remember, we're playing championship rodeo, not Monopoly. Jesse, pay attention. I am. What time is it? Much too late to be up. Daddy! <laughs> Daddy! 
Daddy, mm. I was so worried. Well, dreams change, Jess, sometimes for the better. Especially thanks to your information. You mean all that stuff I told you came true? You flew on a magic carpet? Well, we took a little trip on one. You look as if you've been on a bit of a trip yourself, sister. Well, it would have been a bigger crash if it wasn't for your dream crown. Ah, the dream crown. Mm -hmm. I told you, strong medicine. Hmm. Well, you look beautiful. Did you get married? No. What I got, though, was an education. Look, I know I caused you guys a lot of trouble. So tomorrow, scuttlebutt. Drinks on me. For my heroes. Sounds great, Legs. But um, I'm going to have to get a little sleep tonight. I've got boat lag. <laughs> now, come on, Jess. Let's get down and see who's going to win this here. Oh. Rodeo. <laughs> Mom! Yeah! Hey, wait a minute. Hey, come on. Hug. Sweetie. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. All right, all right. Ooh, this should be just about enough money to put a new paint job on Thunder. Okay. Hello, Mary. Hello, Jess. Hello, Jess. Hello, Jess. Hello, Jess. Hello, Jess. Hello, Jess. Here you go. Thanks. Okay. I don't blame the guys for not coming. Kind of really messed up. Kelly, don't fold your cards so quickly on your dream, sister. They're foxy little devils that sneak up on you from behind and pinch you when you least expect it. How about a Bruce special? Heavy on the umbrellas. You use that big uh, goblet thing. If I can remember where I left it. Two iced teas and light on the sugar. Anything for my heroes. You guys. I guess it's kismet that you're here with us. I don't think it's kismet. I think it's paradise. I'll drink to that. Yo! -ho. A toast to the greatest set of gams on the beach. Good to have you back, honey. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. with him 